Hi, I'd like to welcome everyone to Mondays with Mr. Notar for the week of November 9th. Um, I know I, I had an all call go out yesterday and, and I know I want to try to um, at least reduce the number of all calls, but I felt it was a very important week since this is the first week of really beginning our blended learning format. Uh, so I did send out an all call yesterday and then I wanted to put the information also on this video as well. So just a reminder that our blended learning format does begin this week. Um, and just to kind of review that, students in grades 9 through 12 with the last name A through L, they're going to come to Edgewood High School every Monday and Wednesday moving forward uh, for our blended learning. Students with the last name M through Z will report every Tuesday and Thursday to the high school. Just a reminder to the students on your off days, so if I'm a student with the last name A through L, I'll come on Monday, on Tuesday I stay home, Wednesday I come and on Thursday I stay home. On the days that you stay home, your classroom teachers for all your periods will post lessons or activities uh, through their Google Classroom. You can log on to that Google Classroom at any time during the day on your off day to complete those lessons or activities so you're prepared and ready for the next day when you go back to face-to-face -face instruction. Fridays will remain the same where uh, our teachers will have meetings first thing in the morning and then they do have uh, office hours, I would say, from 9 until 12 o'clock. That's an opportunity that uh, any of the students can email their teachers if they need extra help. Teachers may reach out to students um, and have individual or small group Zoom meetings if students need uh, extra help or just enrichment activities. So that's kind of a communication between the students and the teachers and, and what their needs may, need, may be. So um, those are available to student, students every Friday. Um, and again, that is really just worked out between the classroom teachers and the students and, and what their needs are. Uh, just a reminder that those students that are driving to school or students getting dropped off in the morning, please arrive at 7, 5, between 7.15 and 7.30. Uh, due to not having breakfast in the cafeteria this year, we have to wait till our teachers are in the building and in their classrooms for students to come in. Uh, teachers are here in their classrooms by 7.15 a.m. So that way when students enter the building, uh, they can grab a breakfast. Breakfast is free for every student uh, right now, so I would encourage your, your child to grab a breakfast in the morning. They'll grab their breakfast. We have table at the main entrance and we have a table at the back entrance for those students that are driving or getting dropped off. Students can grab their breakfast and then just report right to their homeroom class. Um, some students were asking who their homeroom teacher is to get the, the day started. Uh, we do have the homeroom list posted both in the main hallway and in the math hallway um, for uh, the students that they can look up according to grade level. They're in alphabetical order and they'll be able to see who their homeroom teacher is. Uh, we'll also have extra teachers and administrators in the hallway that can help assist students as well. So make sure you come between 7.15, 7.30, grab a breakfast, and then head ho right to homeroom. The nice thing about homeroom, our teachers will take attendance then. Students will have the opportunity to eat breakfast, and then I'll make any announcements that need to be made for the day. Um, so again, tardy bells at 7.30, so the ideal time is between 7.15 and 7.30 to arrive. Our shout out for, for uh, this week really is for our entire freshman class. Last week we had our freshmen in the building. Um, we split the alphabet and half the alphabet came last Tuesday and the other half came on Wednesday. They just did a tremendous job. I thought, you know, since we didn't have freshman orientation in the spring, it was a great opportunity to get them in the building, to at least meet their teachers, learn about the schedule, get familiar with the building. Um, but I can't say enough about the kids that came last week. They did a, an absolutely wonderful job. They had some great questions. We have red directional arrows in the building. They followed those perfectly. And, and I'll go over all that stuff with our upperclassmen uh, this week on our morning announcements so uh, they know uh, or they have an idea of some of the expectations and procedures to follow during the day. But it was just an amazing two days. It was so nice to see the kids in the building. Uh, during lunchtime, we walked around and talked to them, and I know they were happy to be in the building. Um, I know sometimes Zoom meetings can get overwhelming, 
Um, and so they said a lot of the students, their comments were they were just happy to be able to see their teachers face to face and be in a classroom and have some normalcy. So uh, I can't say enough about the freshman class. They did a superior job and, and we were all excited to see them. So feel the same way with our upperclassmen coming back. We're just excited to have students in the building and have an opportunity to interact with them face to face. Okay, our joke of the week. Uh, this week, we're going to, um, since we talked a little bit about breakfast and, and also what students do get a free lunch um, right now too, so encourage your, your son or daughter to take advantage of a free breakfast and free lunch here at Edgewood High School. So since we are talking about breakfast and lunch, our joke of the week is going to be cafeteria related. So our joke of the week is, why did the clock in the cafeteria always run slow? Why? The answer? It always went back four seconds. <laughs> oh, okay. I hope everyone has a great week, and uh, we welcome the students back, and we're very, very excited to have them. Thank you. Did you get it? Still not funny.